Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video, we are doing my January tray for 2024. OMG. I cannot believe it's 2024. This year has... 2023 flew by. It's a blur. Here we are, January 2024. So we're going to, of course, go through my December tray, and I'm going to give you a recap on those fragrances, and then we'll pick out 10 new fragrances for the month of January to focus on. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you being here. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so, so much for all your continued support. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So for the month of December, I cheated and had 11 fragrances instead of 10. Normally I only pick out 10 and I still forgot some holiday perfume. So first of all, I wanted to give you my th updated thoughts about Ginger Biscuit by Jo Malone. I know this had tons and tons of FOMO, which I fell for the FOMO and I got a bottle, which this is a really great smelling perfume in my opinion. To me, it smells like Ginger Snap Cookies and it's really delicious, but the performance is the issue. It does not last more than just two hours on me, and I really find that quite annoying. It really hasn't gotten that much stronger since I got it. I did go to Bath & Body Works, and I did get this Jolly Gingerbread Village lotion to pair with it, and it does slightly help, I feel like, but not a ton. So you might want to try this combo if you're looking for something to get this to perform a little bit better. I, I'm not going to declutter this because I really enjoy the way that it smells, but I really wish it was stronger is my only gripe. I just have to keep respraying, and I find that kind of annoying. <laughs> but I still really like the way it smells, and the bottle is really, really cute. It's really not that cute. It's just the bow, but still. The bow got me, okay? It got me, and I love it. I do really love the way this smells. So if you want to smell like a ginger snap cookie and you don't really mind that the performance isn't that great, maybe check this out. This is by Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit. Up next we have by Chanel. This is Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version. I do find this one to be very, very difficult to wear. I love the way this smells, but it's difficult. I didn't reach for it a lot just because I find this to be so sophisticated and elegant. It's almost kind of like a special occasion fragrance for me. This is not just an everyday perfume. It's hard to wear it. Yeah, it's not a wearable everyday perfume for me. I really enjoy it though. If you like Coco Mademoiselle but you want more vanilla and more patchouli than the original, this is my favorite. I love the intense version. I think it smells incredible. Very, very sophisticated very classy, very grown up. Some people say too grown up. Some people think this is mature. So this is by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Of course, we have my loved Angel Share, which I love this so much. Boozy, warm apple pie with some oak in the base, lots and lots of cinnamon. That's all I'm going to say about it. I wore it for November and December. I've already talked about this one to death. So of course, I enjoyed thoroughly Angel Share by Killian. Speaking of warm apple pie, I do have, this is an indie house, it's called Siren Song, Siren Song Elixirs. I have this little travel spray, it's not a spray, it's a rollerball, but it's a really strong performing fragrance and so I don't mind that it's a rollerball because just a little bit, like I can just use a little bit on my wrists and kind of like dab some of it on and I can really smell it. So I'm okay. I'd prefer it to be a sprayer, but anyway. This smells like realistic apple pie. This doesn't have oak in the base to tone it down. This just smells like realistic cinnamon apple pie. And I can even smell the crust in here as well. Again, not the most wearable fragrance, but boy, was this fun for December. Ooh, this is so real. I mean, it actually smells like somebody took an apple pie out of the oven, bubbling hot and put it in front of my face down to the crust. It's so good. If you want to smell like a realistic cinnamon apple pie straight out of the oven, with the crust included, check this one out. And I know some people were laughing about the name of this because it's called I Smell Children. It's not meant to be creepy, guys. <laughs> it sounds creepy, I know, okay? I get it. But it's from the movie Hocus Pocus. And one of the Sanderson sisters, her gift is to be able to smell children, and she says, I smell, I smell children, you know? Anyway, it's from the movie. It's not meant to be creepy. <laughs> I love that movie, Hocus Pocus. It's my favorite Halloween movie. We watch it every Halloween and it's one of my all-time favorites. So when I saw that this was called I Smell Children from the Hocus Pocus movie and that it smelled like apple pie, I had to have it. 
So this is from Siren Song Elixirs I Smell Children. Another one that I tried is from, I can never remember what the name of this house is. What is this house? I'll put it up on the screen. For some reason I'm drawing a blank and it's not on my little label here, but I'll put it up on the screen. This is called Bronzo. This was sent to me by a subscriber and this smells like Christmas in a bottle. Hardcore. I mean cinnamon, cloves. I mean this just smells like Christmas Day. I really, really like it, but I don't think I need a full bottle. I think I'm okay with just this travel spray because I don't see myself wearing this any other time but Christmas. Every once in a while when I wore it, I was like, uh, oh, this is kind of giving me like Christmas potpourri vibes. Lots and lots of spices. Yeah, it's really good. It smells nice, but I don't see myself wearing this any other time. So I'm just okay with this for now. But if you love spices like cloves and cinnamon, you might want to check this one out. I just don't find this to be super wearable. So this is Bronzo. Another one that wasn't, I had some perfumes on my tray for this month that I found to be not wearable, but I love them. And this is one of them. This is by Latafa, and this is Amir Al Oud, and I barely, barely wore this because every time I went to go wear it, it was like, I don't want to, I don't want to wear that. I love the way it smells. I think it's not cold enough here yet. This is a winter perfume, a snow day perfume. This is sitting by the fireplace with lots of vanilla, some sugar. This is kind of like by the fireplace. Very, very woody. Not exactly the same. I don't really like By the Fireplace, but I do like this one. Some people say this one's smoky. I don't get the smoke. That's why I like this one. It absolutely has to be like a cold winter day and I picture it snowing outside and it doesn't snow really here in South Carolina. It has before, but it's not common to snow in South Carolina. So I just don't think I have the weather. I don't think I have the weather for this perfume. So I don't know about this one, you guys. I do really, really love the way it smells, but I find it very, very unwearable. This one's on the chopping block. So this is by Latafa Amir Al Oud. This one I got to get several wears in and I enjoyed every single moment of it. This is by Zerzhov and this is Starlight. This is such a beautiful fragrance and I don't know why, but this reminds me of Christmas. It smells like a cardamom baking cookie with some vanilla, some almonds, lots and lots of cardamom. I definitely get tons of cardamom in here, so I really feel like you have to be a fan of that to like this, but it's sweet and it smells gourmand to me, like a cookie. Love it, amazing performance. This will last you all day. No issues there, and I enjoyed it so, so much. It really just put me in the holiday spirit. It just put me in the mood for Christmas, and I just love this one, I love the bottle. So that is by Zerzhoff Starlight. Another one that I have to be in the mood for, but when I am in the mood for this one, I thoroughly love it. This is by Navitus Venom of Love. To me, this smells like a cherry cordial with some boozy notes. There's some liquor in here. I don't really know. It doesn't really specify what kind of liquor, but I think it might be like rum or cognac. It's a dark, a dark liquor, and it definitely has that kind of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Cherry, but then it also has lots and lots of chocolate. I love the mixture of that together, that kind of sour sweet cherry with some really delicious chocolate and then lots of boozy notes. There's lots of vanilla in here as well, and I kind of feel like I get that creamy part of the chocolate covered cherry. I really enjoy this one when I'm in the mood for it. December's the perfect time for me to wear this because it reminds me of Christmas. Yeah, I associate chocolate chocolate covered cherries with Christmas. So that's why I like to wear this one in December. I get really decent performance out of it. It's not super loud like a screamer perfume, but it's pretty decent. I didn't have any issues with the performance when I wore it. That is by Navitus Parfums Venom of Love. Okay, this perfume I wore a ton in the month of December. This was one because I found so many of these to not be like the most wearable, but this one, this one I felt like I could just wear whenever and I just thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. This is another one by Navitus and this is in collaboration with Sharita M. Mani Kasanad. This one is not a safe blind buy though. I've heard so many different things about this perfume, you guys. So many different interpretations of how this smells. You gotta test this for yourself. This is widely interpreted, but what I get is vanilla bean ice cream, and I freaking love it. And then I get lots and lots of brown sugar and toffee, which translates to butterscotch. This smells the same to me every time I wear it. I've heard some people say that this changes on them and they get different things. I get the same thing every time. Vanilla bean ice cream, butterscotch, and then there's some amberwood in the base as well. 
a little bit of muskiness in here too to kind of make the perfume seem a little bit airy and not super super thick vanilla ice cream it's vanilla ice cream but not like too dense and unwearable it's wearable in my opinion if you're not a fan of amberwood which i feel like Navitus puts a lot of amberwood in their fragrances if you're not a fan of that you're not going to like this but i enjoy it in the fragrance because like i've said a million times it offsets the sweetness of these perfumes so they're not full on like sickening sweet gourmands to me i really enjoy that woody feel in the base to me this is a very interesting unique and special vanilla. I get a lot of the vanilla in here and I adore it. When I first got this perfume, it was only like moderate performance. It has definitely gotten stronger. No issues whatsoever with the performance and I wore this one a lot and enjoyed it so much. I wore it a lot in November when I first got it and then I wore it a lot in December as well. I did reach for this one quite a bit. Plus I really love this bottle. So yeah, I am in love with this fragrance. I think it's fantastic. So this is Mani Cassonade by Nevitas. I did also wear Herod quite a bit by Parfums de Marly. I won't go on and on about this. You guys know I love this one. This is lots of cinnamon. On me, it's lots of cinnamon, lots of tobacco, but not smoky, and lots of vanilla. It smells completely different on my husband, but that's what it smells like on me, and I adore it. We fight over this perfume. <laughs> we don't fight over it, but he really likes to sneak wares of this. And it smells incredible on him too. So yeah, this is just one of my all-time favorites. Love, love, love this one. One of my favorite perfumes in my collection. So that's by Parfums de Marly Herod. And then this one I wore a ton this month as well. I loved it so much. This is Narcotica's Dulce Diablo. This is very boozy. I really only see myself wearing this in the fall and winter. Definitely not a spring and summer fragrance, so I'm really glad I got a lot of wears out of this this month because I think it's it'll be time to put this one away soon. You've got to be a fan of boozy notes to enjoy this, but boozy, I get lots of apricots and I get chocolate that to me smells like Tootsie Rolls. The combination is magical. This is a strong performing fragrance and I am absolutely in love and I've gone on and on and on about this perfume, but I love this one. This is going absolutely nowhere. This is by Narcotica Dulce Diablo. All right, guys, let's pick out 10 new fragrances for the month of January. I am going to definitely put the new one by Narcotica on my tray. This is Happy Dust. I told you guys I would keep you updated on the performance of this. This smells freaking amazing. This is an amazing vanilla. It has three different types of vanilla in it. I definitely get tons of yummy, delicious vanilla. I do pick up the mango in here. It smells very like a sweet, juicy mango. I get a lot of the matcha in here as well. It has this green feel to it, but it's not sharp. Everything in here is blended so super well, in my opinion. I think this is an incredible smelling fragrance this would be one of my absolute favorites i mean this this smells so freaking good this would be giving dulce diablo and narco oasis a run for its money if the performance was better as of right now the performance is not great it's getting better though every time i spray it it gets better and better and better so i am 100 percent no not 100 percent i'm 95 percent sure that by the end of the month when I come back, I am going to happily report to you guys that the performance has gotten better. But I don't know for sure, so I will keep you posted. Do I love the way it smells? Yes, the performance needs work. <laughs> but I don't want to judge it too soon. It's a new formula. It might just need time to sit. I'm guessing that's the case. So I will keep you posted on this. But as of right now, the performance is not where I want it to be. But the scent is freaking phenomenal. So that is by Narcotica Happy Dust. This next one I have to wait until cold weather to wear and I cannot wait to put this on my tray. This is by Victor & Roth Flower Bomb Nectar. This is so much fun. This is gunmetal. Lots of florals. It has that flower bomb DNA but it is so much more interesting than that in my opinion because of the gunmetal. Super sexy, super unique, super fun and it's just sweet and sexy. Very strong, very good performing, and I cannot wait to wear this. If you like Flower Bomb, but you want Flower Bomb with a twist, definitely sweeter, lots of vanilla, lots of patchouli, and that idea of gunmetal in the opening sounds good to you. It's not safe, it's not a safe blind buy. Gunmetal is not, it's not gunmetal, it's gunpowder. Gunpowder, not gunmetal. It does have like kind of a metallic feel to it though, but gunpowder in the opening 
that sounds like fun to you, check it out. But it's not going to be for everyone, so don't blind by it. <laughs> but this is by Victor and Roth Flower Bomb Nectar. This next one I always wait for winter too, and if I don't wear this, it's going to go. I love the way this smells, but for some reason I struggle to wear this fragrance. I just do not reach for it. And I don't know why, because I think it's absolutely a phenomenal fragrance. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but we're going to figure it out this month. It's either going to be one I wear or it's going to go. This is by Givenchy and this is L'Entredi. Beautiful, classy, sophisticated, grown up, tuberose. I love tuberose. This smells like a sophisticated, classy, put together, successful woman. <laughs> and I love, I love this. What is my problem? I don't know. It's got pear. It's got tuberose. I think it has orange blossom in here as well. It has some vetiver in the base. It's absolutely stunning. So it's so strong though. It's so strong on me. This is just a strong projecting and loud perfume that I can only do a couple of sprays at a time and I have found that the only time I can really wear this is cold weather. So here we go. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted if I actually reach for this or not. I do really think it smells amazing. So that is by Givenchy Lanterdi. Another one that I have got to wear. I have not worn this in forever and I love this perfume and I need to put it on my tray. This is by the House of BDK Velvet Tonka. This perfume has been neglected, but I love it so much and I miss it. This smells amazing. This is tobacco. This is lots of almonds. It's got some rose oil in here, but for some reason I always picture cherry blossoms. It smells like cherry blossoms to me. Mixed with that tobacco, mixed with the almonds, lots and lots of tonka bean, lots of vanilla. Gorgeous, comforting, nostalgic perfume. I don't know why this is so nostalgic. Somebody said it kind of smells like that um, Jergens lotion, like the almond cherry blossom lotion. I kind of get that. I kind of do get that in here, but I love it. I think it smells so good. Every time I wear this, I thoroughly enjoy it. This would be a great signature scent. I feel like you can wear this anytime. And I get pretty decent performance out of it as well. So that is by the House of BDK Velvet Tonka. All right, it is the time to wear this. Like it's now or never, now or never. This is cold weather only for me. Well, I, I can wear this in the fall when it starts to get crisp. It has to be cool cool outside. This is by Atar Collection Cult It Night. This is a strong perfume that I have to wear in cooler weather. I can wear this in the fall, but I also like to wear this in the winter. So this is lots of cinnamon, apple, red apple, cherry, lots of cherry, and then there's patchouli and vanilla in the base. I get this dark Middle Eastern base in this fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Ojan from Parfum Smarly. I actually decluttered Ojan because these two were so similar in the dry down. It was like basically the same fragrance for me and I couldn't really tell them apart. The difference was in the opening. So in the opening I got a lot more of the apple, spiced apple in Ojan and here I get apple but I also get a lot of the cherry and I ever so slightly prefer this one. So I kept this one and decluttered Ojan if you like Ojan, good chances are you're going to like this one. This is amazing performance, and this is a pretty decently priced niche house. You can find these on discounted sites for a decent price. I think I got this for under $100, and this is a 100 ml bottle. Is it a 100 ml bottle? Yes, 100 ml bottle, and I think that's a pretty good deal, especially since you don't need very many sprays. This is going to last you forever because this is a strong performing fragrance. So definitely check this one out. This is by Atar Collection Culted Night. I cannot wait to wear this one. I haven't worn this one since I got it and I got this one a few months ago. It is time for me to pull out by Giuseppe Parfums. This is the wrong one. This is Accident Olive and E. Nope, not this one. Hold on. Okay, this is Giuseppe Parfums. This is Accident Olive and E Creme de la Berry. This one, I love the original Accident Olive and E. It smells like vanillas and caramel. This smells like strawberry milk. <laughs> this smells, okay, I know it's cheesecake that's in here, but I don't, I don't necessarily get cheesecake. This smells like cereal. It smells like Captain Crunch berries with lots and lots of that milk, like when your milk turns pink because of the berries. That's what this smells like to me. It is so fun. It is so much fun. It is very literal gourmand foodie gourmand if the idea of smelling like cheesecake or cereal 
or some sort of strawberry berry dessert doesn't sound appealing to you and you don't want to smell like food run away it is sweet it's getting on the border of like maybe too sweet for me but it's not quite there because it does have this like cereal feel to it so it's not just uber it's sweet but it's not too sweet for me anyway I love it I think it's a blast every time I smell this it makes me smile it definitely reminds me of Saturday morning cartoons eating cereal come on come on it's nostalgic it's fun it's happy is it grown up no <laughs> do I care absolutely not because this gives me a lot of joy and I love it so this is by Gisette Parfums Accident All of the Knee Creme de la Berry and I don't know why I didn't put this on December's tray because this was absolutely supposed to be on December's tray. This is by Milano Fragranzi Panettone. This smells like Panettone. Bready, fruity, orange, raisins, a little bit of rum, Panettone. That's what it smells like. If you've never had Panettone, it's an Italian dessert that they eat during Christmas time. So duh, I should have had this on my December tray, but that's okay because I'll just wear it now in January. It's so delicious. I could wear this every day. I could wear this every day. I think this is one of the most delicious bready dessert like fragrances. Very realistic to Panettone. So that is by Milano Fragranzi Panettone. It is time for this perfume. This is a cold weather perfume for me. This is by Nishane Ani. Very polarizing. Very spicy. Green, citrusy in the opening. Lots and lots of vanilla. Some people absolutely hate this perfume very very polarizing some people think that this smells very masculine leaning i do not it's one of my favorite vanillas but if you don't like spicy perfumes you gotta test this i was scared of this perfume because of the green lots of people considered this to be a green vanilla and i'm not always the biggest fan of green notes but i don't find this to be overly green i think this is more spicy and citrusy than it is green and i get this gorgeous delicious vanilla dry down that i love it's a compliment getter Really, really good performance. One of my favorites. This is by Nishane Ani. I'm definitely putting, I've been wearing this anyway, by the way, but I'll officially put it on my tray for January. <laughs> this is by Navitus Parfums Baklava Royale. If you want to smell like pistachio baklava, this is it. This is gorgeous. Lots and lots of nutty notes. There's some orange blossom in here. I do pick that up. So it's not full on foodie gourmand. There are a couple of things in here that kind of tone it down a little the orange blossom and the amber wood that's in here gives it some depth and a little bit something like a break it it gives a break to the sweetness and the nuttiness also gives a break to the sweetness as well because it's very very nutty very pistachio and almond heavy i love it i'm a nutty perfume lover this is delicious and I get lots of that honey, but not necessarily honey like animalic honey. It's just sweet. There's a sweetness to this perfume that I pick up on. And lots of vanilla, lots of tonka bean. Really good performance. I can smell this on me all day. And it is gorgeous. It is my favorite Navitus release so far. I can't get enough of this. If you like nutty perfumes, definitely check this out. This is in collaboration with Gabby from Gabby Loves Perfumes and Navitus Baklava Royale. And last but not least is a new one to my collection. This is by Hez Parfums Banana Bread Banshee. I've been talking about this one a lot. It's just because I love it. I adore this fragrance. I think this smells like banana bread. It does what it says it's gonna do. It smells like banana bread, but I get, I don't know why I get walnuts in here, but I swear there's walnuts in here, but there's not. They're not listed. But that's what I smell. Nutty walnuts, lots and lots of walnuts with really realistic bananas. Banana bread. It's delicious. I love it. And the performance is really good too. And I think this is pretty affordable. You get 50 mil for $70. And the quality is excellent. I highly recommend checking this one out. So that is by Hez Parfums Banana Bread Banshee. All right, you guys, those are the 10 fragrances that I'm picking out for the month of January. And of course, I will come back and update you on all of them and let you know what I think. And thank you guys so much for watching. Also, let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. If you did find this video helpful and you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.